Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, we're going to discuss two new research-oriented open models that we recently released on Hugging Face. The first one is called Homunculus, a strange name that I will explain. Homunculus is a distillation of Quen 3 235B into a Mistral Nemo 12B architecture. The second model is a variant of the GLM 432B model that we built while working on our first foundation model, AFM 45B. And we use this variant to validate the context extension work that we did on AFM. Okay, so we'll dive into this stuff. Let's get started. As usual, you will find all the links in the video description. Let's start with homunculus. So first, I guess we should explain what this strange word means. So uh, homunculus is a tiny human being created through artificial means. This word comes from alchemy. And this is a fitting name for this particular model, because as we can see here, this was distilled from a very large model, Quant 3, 235 billion parameters into Mistral Nemo, which is a 12B model. So about a 20X um, size reduction through distillation. What's really interesting about this model is that it does preserve uh, the reasoning and interaction style of Quen. So you can prompt it with slash think if you want to use uh, reasoning mode or no think if you just want straight answers. And because the model is only 12B, it's definitely small enough to run anywhere. And in fact, I'm going to run it on my laptop uh, and you will see it works very well. All right, let's start with a straight question first. So no thinking mode. And we're going to ask this. Looking at multi-head attention, group queer attention, multi-queer attention, multi-head latent attention, which method would optimize inference latency for a small language model, 32 attention layers running on a 64 core Intel CPU. Okay, good luck with that. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we can see there's no thinking. So we get a, we get a knowledge answer, right? So we get a nice little description of the four methods, a nice little table. All right, and okay, why not? Multi-query attention, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, we're not gonna read through all of it, but we can see we got usual behavior, a fast answer, and, um, and some good details. Okay, now let's, all right, now let's ask the same question, but with the uh, thinking mode on. And off it goes, and I suspect this will take a while, so I might, uh, you know, speed it up or edit it. We'll see what works best. Okay, so after a little while, uh, and thousands of tokens, no doubt, we have an answer, uh, which is group cree attention, which, you know, makes makes sense, I guess. Uh, but we're not going to read all this stuff. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, so this ran for 251 seconds. So a little more than four minutes. We generated 6,000 tokens. So definitely a deeper and richer answer. And, um, and we can see, you know, the model engaging in in some math, uh, you know, complexity, figuring out uh, which one of the methods would be would be optimal, etc. So, actually, I, I always think you know those uh, that, that that data, that thinking data, is actually probably more valuable than, than the answer itself, um, because this helps you discover and understand the problem and look at you know angles or uh, items that you wouldn't have thought about. So you know, I like those uh, reasoning models a lot. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's a uh, homunculus 12B, runs very nicely on your local machine or 
on a small GPU. And, uh, well, it definitely packs a punch thanks to distillation. Okay, let's switch to the GLM model. The second model we released is uh, improving on this uh, GLM 432B model, which is, uh, which is pretty popular. So technically this model has a 32K context size, but uh, experiments show that it degrades very rapidly after 8K. So while working on our uh, first foundation model, AFM 45B, um, and again, all the links will be in the video description. Uh, our team uh, worked on context extension uh, to give uh, AFM a 64K context length. And they were successful doing that. Uh, and to validate their approach, and I would highly encourage you to, to read this uh, amazing blog post, which uh, shares a lot of the recipes that we use using uh, merging, etc., etc. Uh, we actually try to replicate the same technique on a different model and on a larger model to figure out if this was just maybe a lucky accident or if it was just working for small models. So we wanted to run that context extension process on, a, on another model. And that's what the team did. Uh, and the result was uh, this model. So uh, GLM4 32B base. 32K. So same, uh, same architecture, same model, but uh, gone through the context extension process. Okay. And it's a long blog post. We're not going to look at all of it. Uh, you can go and uh, try the model um, and you can see how this uh, RC model um, works definitely better with larger context sizes. Okay. So X axis, is context length. Uh, y axis is uh, the needle in a haystack benchmark. So basically trying to find um, a short piece of information inside a very large context. So very similar to a, 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 a RAG scenario, you could say. Okay. So you can see, you know, up to 8K, all models do very well. And then at 8K, uh, the, uh, the original GLM model drops very rapidly uh, and you know at 16k you know it's only 50 percent capable of finding the item and then you know it keeps dropping and after 24k it's completely uh, incapable right unfortunately and we can see that the the model that our team improved is uh, is doing much much better than that okay uh, it still has a uh, uh, 60, 70 uh, percent chance of finding the, the data you, you need in a 32K context, right? So this validates uh, the approach that we use for context extension. And, and again, this is, a, this is a really, really good post by Charles and highly recommended. Okay. All right. That's what I wanted to tell you today. So two cool open source models, one uh, with a focus on uh, you know, thinking and, and distillation. And the other one, um, a nice experiment in uh, context extension and, and overall a very, a very useful model um, to, to consider for your, uh, for your applications and your projects. Okay, all links in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep rocking.